talk about the outfit of the day. I have not worn this shirt hardly at all um, since the fall. And uh, since my house is warm, I guess I could get away with it. The shirt is from Walmart. This is from Sofia Vergara. I don't know if it's still available. If it is, I will have it linked in the description bar down below. And then I am wearing it with my uh, free assembly pant, my corduroy pull-on pant. And I'm wearing my black loafer mules from Sam Edelman. Like I said, I hadn't worn this little top in a good long while. And I was going through my closet trying to find what to wear. And this one popped out at me. And I tend to wear just whatever I have in the clothing rack behind me. What I need to start doing, I think, is bringing out stuff for the week. And having like kind of like just what I might want to wear during the week on the rack. So that I make sure to wear everything that I have. Uh, because I really like this little top. I think it's very cute and I don't wear it enough. On my lips, I am wearing the Maybelline Color, Sh Color Sensational Shine lipstick. I'm just making up names. I think that's what it's called. And it's in Chocolate Lust. It's one of my favorites. I love them because they're very glossy. And I really like this particular shade because it's like the perfect nude, I think, for me. The jewelry. What can I say? It's the usuals. I am wearing my Monica Vinader uh, Nura Pearl earrings and then I've got little pearl studs in my second piercing and then my little necklace stack, my everyday necklace stack, my Ana Luisa necklace that has the Leo Zodiac pendant and then my, I think it's called Alta. I'm pretty sure that's what it is from Monica Vinader, the little textured chain. That's my everyday and then my rings, got my Onyx ring and my um, I think it's called Ever Ring from Ana Luisa. Both of these are Ana Luisa, New York. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and head downstairs now and have my coffee. As you can tell, my hair is quite... I don't know what's going on with my hair. I might put it half up, half down. I didn't use my air wrap this week. I used my regular curling iron and the curl's already pretty much gone. So anyway, I think I'm just going to do that with my hair since it doesn't want to behave. I'm going to go downstairs and have coffee though and my tummy is grumbling. So it is time for mince pie. All right. Good morning, friends. Once again, here we are down in the kitchen getting ready to pick some coffee. We are on day, is it day 16? No, it's day 17, isn't it? It's getting to the point where the advent calendars are the only thing helping me to keep track. Yeah, it's day 17. All right, so now we are going to be opening day 17 on our advent calendar. All right, we've got a decaf. We have got a Portado Decafonado. And that is a strength level eight. It is a, um, it's a lungo. It's going to be a decent cup of coffee. I think I'm going to make myself some oat milk with that. And so let's go ahead and get the coffees going. We have to do some minor repair. The command strip for this garland on this side did not hold. Came down last night. So I'm just going to put it back up again. I don't know about those command strips sometimes. They say they hold, but I, I don't know. The other ones are doing really well, though. I don't want to jinx it. I don't want to jinx it. The other ones are doing great. It's just that one in that corner that keeps falling. This is the second time. All right. So another oat milk latte with a Vortado, which I've tried it once, I think, or twice, maybe. Pretty strong coffee, if my memory serves. Yeah, but pretty darn good anyway. All right, I'm going to have my mince pie, my coffee, and I will talk with you guys again in a little bit. It just occurred to me that I have not walked you through what is on deck for today. So I have got editing, editing, and more editing. We are also going to be doing a lot of baking today. We have a pretzel, an Auntie Anne's pretzel mix that... Angie picked up when we went to the mall a couple of weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago now. We've got to make pretzels, and I think some of them are going to be gifted to the neighbors. We're also going to be baking, or I'm going to be baking cookies um, for the neighbors for their little gift baskets this year. We're giving them, we're calling it our favorite things. We're giving them um, some chocolate chip cookies, because I love chocolate chip cookies. And Angie's making them some of her popcorn, which is 
amazing. I love her popcorn. She makes the best popcorn. I think I'm going to order groceries here in a little while. We are low on some produce and uh, lunches, things for lunches. So I've got to pull together a grocery list. Um, we do grocery pickup. I don't like going into the stores, especially now with a new variant that's floating around. I just don't even know. But anyway, that is what is on deck for the day. First thing though, I've got to get my editing finished and caught up so that that way I can devote all my time this evening to baking cookies. But that being said, let's go ahead and pull the wine of the day. We are on day 17 and let's see what we're going to have for dinner tonight. <laughs> okay. Ooh, we've got a red. Fantastic. <gasps> a Syrah. I'm on the fence on Syrah, but I love the name of this wine good trouble yes absolutely good trouble that's fantastic that's awesome okay it has tasting notes of blueberry olive and dark chocolate Ooh, so good yum hmm i think that calls for something italian so i believe that we are going to have some sort of a ravioli dish with no red sauce though i'm making it with sun-dried tomatoes and things like that. I've got a couple of recipes that will fit the bill for that. So uh, yeah, we're going to have a fantastic little pasta dish tonight because I think that this would taste good with pasta and cheese. It's a cheese pasta. So yes. Yay. Very exciting. Okay. I'm going to go and put this guy by the coffee station. Good trouble. Yes, sirree. That is fantastic this label is staying on the bottle all right there we go what you doing what you doing hmm what you doing yeah you just hanging about are you trying to drop a hint she got caught in the closet this morning and missed her breakfast one of these days we're gonna fix that creaky board she likes to sneak in very quietly and gets trapped in closets this yes every week at least once a week she gets trapped in a closet somewhere. <sighs> she likes to go to Narnia. Anyway, I'm going to continue working. Okay, I've had a slight costume change. Wearing a short sleeve shirt because I need to wash the dishes and I don't like getting my sleeves wet. So, in we go. sweetie are you sharing are you sharing oh you're adorable you are so adorable are you giving hints that you want to play after lunch so cute I love you mama I love you yes I do you're just adorable you're just so adorable yes I do love you thank you <laughs> And Coco, too. <laughs> oh, lovely girl. I can't help myself. I have to come and pet you. I have to come and pet you. Yes, you're my baby girl. Yes, you are. Oh, look at you hinting for playtime. Okay, after much psychological battle with myself, I have gotten dressed in my workout gear. I'm going to hop on that bike. I need to get into the habit of doing that again because... It's my health, and I've been eating so many mince pies, I need to be riding that bike at least 20 minutes a day. So I am about to hop onto the bike to work out. Just probably a quick 20, maybe 30 minutes. I haven't decided yet, but after that, I'm going to run up, freshen up, take a quick shower, and probably will be ready to start baking and things like that. I'm also getting kind of hungry, so... I have to figure out what we're doing for dinner. But anyway, I'm going to go and get my workout done, get it knocked out, out of the way, not have to worry about it. It is about 10 minutes to 5. I told Angie we were going to take our time this evening because we don't have any place to go or to be. We can just bake at our own leisure. All right, makeup still hasn't come off yet because time got away and we have to get these pretzels made today.
wait for 30 minutes for the dough to rise. So that was an adventure. That was the first batch that we popped into the oven. We're going to see how they taste because the dough was very um, tough and it kept tearing. So hopefully they turn out. But I'm going to get started with dinner. We're going to have our ravioli. Mm. All right. So here is dinner. I think I've made this before here on the channel. This is ravioli with, it's a cheese ravioli with sun-dried tomatoes capers, artichoke hearts, Italian seasoning, and it calls for spinach, but I didn't have it, so I used arugula instead, which I prefer arugula anyway. Um, and then it's got shredded Parmesan on the pasta. And I will show you the finished pretzels once we are done, because that's dessert. My wine glass, and this is Good Trouble. Love that name, I just can't get over it. Isn't that a cool name for a wine? Good trouble. Yep, it's also the name of a website. Yep, so here's the wine. Let's give it a taste. You know what it's in reference to. Mm hmm. Smells fabulous. Mmm. It, I can definitely, definitely taste those notes of dark chocolate in this wine. And the deep berry. Yep. Yeah, I can, too. I definitely catch those notes of dark chocolate. The kind of um, like that bitter sweet chocolate, you know, it's chocolatey and kind of has a little bit of a bite to it. Mm -hmm. Delish. That one's good. All right. And then let's try our pasta. Let's try a perfect bite. Okay, here's my bite. Mmm. I love this pasta dish and I have enough to like feast on it for days. We have a winner, kids. We have a winner. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my dinner and I will show you the pretzels once we're done. Mm -hmm.